Hello and welcome to another Lightroom Plugins demo video. This one is going to be covering things right from the very start, which is simply how do I install a plugin? For those who like their details, I will be installing the Duplicate Finder plugin on Lightroom 6 in Windows. However, I will be covering full details for the Mac because the installation is largely identical. It's also pretty much the same right back to Lightroom 2, which is the earliest one that any of the plugins support. So, the first thing we're going to need to do is get the plugin. So, having found your way to the website, all of the action happens in this right hand side here. The two big blue buttons at the top are the download buttons. One for Windows, one for Mac. In fact, the Mac download will work on Windows as well, which I'll show you a little later. It doesn't work the other way around. The Windows one is Windows only. Prices, donation to Mag. You can turn that off if you like, but Mag are a wonderful charity who do a really fantastic job. They help clear minefields. They remove explosives, they remove unexploded bombs, bullets, all sorts of nasty things from areas where people are trying to live, work and farm. So they really are teaching people to help themselves when they're suffering through usually no fault of their own. So if you can give them a bit of money, it's appreciated by me and it's certainly appreciated by Mag. The other place you can download from is the download link at the top of the page. All of the plugins are listed here and again they're listed for Windows or Mac and there's a nice big button for the manual there. Again, manuals are useful, please take the time to read them. And all you need to do to download it of course is click, which you can see I've already done there. So having downloaded it we have one of these two things. If you downloaded it for Windows, then you will have this. It's a standard Windows installer. You run it, you follow the prompts through, it's installed. That's nice and easy, so I'm not going to cover that in the video. So I'm going to cancel that one. And what I'm going to do is actually run through in more detail the installation which covers the Mac and also Windows. You're quite welcome to use the download which says it's for the Mac on Windows, if you choose. So the first thing I'm going to do is extract this and I'm going to put it there. It doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's on a permanent drive. Now on the Mac, as I said this is Windows, but on the Mac this will show up slightly differently and if you double click on it then Lightroom will open, but it will try and import it as a photo. I don't know why Lightroom does that, but it does. So you can't install it by double clicking. What we need to do instead is simply remember where you put it. And we come into Lightroom, and as with anything to do with plugins in Lightroom, we go to the File menu, and then we come to the Plugin Manager, which opens on the wrong screen. There we go. Now you can see in here I have lots of other ones installed. There's the Alamy one, Cache Manager, uh, the installation for them all is absolutely identical, so if you're watching a series of videos for one of these other plugins, and I'm talking about the Duplicate Finder, doesn't matter, they're all the same. This one there is the old version, so you can ignore that. So to install it, all we need to do is click Add there. And then we come to the place that I've put it, we come into the folder, and we have this .lr plugin. Whichever plugin you're using, it will have a .lr plugin. And I'm going to say select folder. Right, and that's it. We're done. It's installed. That is all you need to do. So, as you can see here, it will run in trial mode. If you don't put in an email and a license, then it will run in trial mode. Just to run through the other buttons in here, check for updates checks for updates, you'll probably be not surprised to hear. The retrieve license is greyed out just now because very simply there isn't a license there so it doesn't know who you are so it can't retrieve it. If you have entered a license then it does know who you are. When you push that button it will come off to the support site, it will find your license and it will email it to you at whatever your email address is. By license 
yeah, hopefully that one's obvious and hopefully you'll be using it. And if you do, thank you very much. That really is all there is to it for installing a plugin. Thanks very much for watching.